Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey, today we're going to look at the journey from Matt Johnson and Murphy's Magic. What is the journey? Uh, it is the any card to any number routine. Five different plots, five different versions uh, that Matt Johnson has kind of crafted together for you in this one uh, compendium. Uh, there's a lot of good information in here. If you want to see the trailer, this is it. Hey guys, I'm Matt Johnson. I'm here at the world's biggest magic convention and I brought with me the holy grail of magic. I attempted to fool professional magicians with any card at any number. And I did it. And what was the car? Oh, oh. oh my god. <laughs> no way. And I did it with one of the easiest, most commercial, instantly reset versions of any card at any number you've ever seen. I need deck cards. You got deck cards? No, not on me. No. Deck cards? Yeah. Borrowed deck. It's important I do this with a borrowed deck. Okay. Yeah. Um, we're going to try something and we'll, we'll see if this works. So, a deck of cards. Uh, Brandon, name a card. The Four of Hearts. Four of Hearts. Now, I'm curious. Wow, these are cool, man. Uh, is this a full deck? Uh, yeah. It is a full deck. Yeah. Okay. It, it, I did see the Four of Hearts. It's in the deck, right? Now, Brandon, I can tell you this. Uh, the Four of Hearts is nowhere near the top. Okay. I can also tell you that it's nowhere near the bottom, which means it's somewhere in the deck, but we're not sure exactly where, right? Uh, that's where you come in, because um, you're going to tell us where it is. So I want you to think of a number between 1 and 52, where the four of hearts might be. 12. 12, okay. Um, 1, kind of blend in with the table, it's kind of cool, kind of retro, but uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. No. Uh, not 13, not 14, not 15, not 16, not 17, not 18, not 19, but 12, yeah? And what was the card? Four hearts. Oh my god. <laughs> so it was a jack of spades and the number was? Ten. Ten. How cool would it be if the tenth card down in this deck, if it were the jack of spades? Crazy, yeah. right? Yeah, 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 okay. We're going to try this. Uh, you could have picked any card, you could have picked the jack of spades. I want you to hold the cards face down. What you're going to do is you're going to deal nine cards here face down, out loud, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then the tenth card here face down. Yeah? Okay. okay, so go ahead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You said ten, right? Yeah. Put it right here. Okay, and, and the rest of the deck. Okay, so let me see. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I think some of these cards stuck together. Wait, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, this is the 10th card and it's the Jack of Spades. So, <laughs> you were great, man. <laughs> In the journey, I'm going to teach you five versions of any card at any number. Some with sleight of hand, some instantly reset, some where the spectator deals, some with a gimmick deck, and some with a borrowed and shuffled deck. No matter your skill level or your expertise, beginner to professional, you're going to find something that you will use for sure. So join me as we go on the journey. So that was the journey, uh, Matt Johnson. Yeah, and a couple questions we always ask about all of our magic reviews, and the first of which is, what's in the box? What's in the box? Uh, you're gonna get a DVD, okay? You're gonna get the DVD, and you're gonna get the, I'll call them gimmicks, okay? You're gonna get the gimmicks that um, is required to do some of the effects, some of the effects. Is it what I thought? Uh, it's not exactly what I thought. Uh, I've seen a couple of other different any card to any number routines, obviously, read some in books, and so I think Matt, has a very fresh approach to this plot. Uh, he does go on at the beginning about how this is one of his favorite plots. He gives tons of credit where credit is due, both for inspiration and uh, where he's pulling some of these ideas from. Uh, but it just wasn't the any card to any number I was expecting. How are the angles? The angles on this are fairly clean, okay? There's five different versions, so it's gonna be hard for me to answer uh, questions that are typical to a review 
considering that each one of these tricks, each one of these approaches is a little different, but I would say the angles on this are really clean. Can it be inspected? Uh, for the most part, no. There is one routine that he teaches that is completely impromptu that you can do with the borrowed deck. Of course, that one can be completely inspected. The rest, I would say, uh, you wouldn't want to hand the deck out and say, go through every single card. I wouldn't do that. What's the overall quality and production value of the video? Uh, the video is shot from Murphy's Magic, so it's well cut, well edited. Shot in Blackpool, uh, it's awesome looking. You got great um, cutaways, you got well done uh, video, editing, lighting. Matt's a great teacher. I think it's a wonderful DVD to watch. Is the gimmick well made? Uh, the gimmick is really beautiful actually, and it is very well made. Um, you might not understand it when you pull it right out of the envelope, so I would say wait, watch the video, and then make up your mind. <laughs> uh, that said, there is some arts and crafts. Not the kind of arts and crafts that requires uh, scissors and pencils and super glue and tape, not that kind of arts and crafts, um, more so deck assembly, okay? And a lot of that stuff you can purchase either from your local uh, grocery store or probably even uh, there's a couple magic providers that will give you some of the special gas that you might need. So just know going into this, you're probably gonna have to make some additional purchases to make a journey deck. What is taught on the DVD? Uh, like I said, there's five different versions of the any card to any number and they all range in setup. They all range in like what you carry on you, and they all range in skill from I'm a master level slight Kardashian to hey, I just grabbed this and self-working. How much practice does this require? Um, I'm gonna go out and say this is gonna require some practice. Even the self-working effect is gonna take some time just to get your rhythm and your figuring out to both thing. Okay, uh, I don't wanna give away exactly what it's gonna take from you, but I will say it's gonna take practice. How much setup and reset is involved? Uh, there, there is a lot of setup, okay? And I think that goes part and partial with the uh, arts and crafts. Like I said, it's not really arts and crafts. Uh, there's some setup though. And so I think whichever one of these versions you choose, aside from the impromptu one, uh, there's gonna be some initial setup. Uh, through the trick, uh, each one that's taught, Matt does teach you how to get back to your get ready. He does teach you how to reset, and many times you can reset right in front of the spectator, so it's easy. Positives, all right, so what are the positives to the journey from Matt Johnson? Uh, Matt Johnson has created an any card to any number that is both impromptu and a magician fooler. Who else can say that? Those proficient in card slides, I think will love this approach. Negatives, all right, so what are the negatives? You know there's uh, always negatives to something, and uh, these are just the negatives that I see. They don't have to be the negatives that you see. Um, I'll say this, as far as the DVD goes, and as far as there being five different versions, just know that they're not five different, completely different versions, okay? They're more so variations on a theme. Okay? There are variations on a theme, variations on skill level. You won't do all five of these, okay? You won't do all five of them. You're gonna probably pick one that you like of the five, maybe two, okay? So just know that. They're, he's not teaching you five completely different out-of-the-box tricks. They're all variations on a thread, okay? So you, you could just call the one trick the journey and just you're asking, okay, which version of the journey are you gonna do? Is it worth your money? Uh, it's 40 bucks. $40, and uh, you are getting gimmicks, okay, and you are getting a DVD that has a lot of teaching instruction on it, and so I would just say, uh, read a lot of reviews, okay, read a lot of reviews on this one. Uh, this is kind of one of those DVDs I don't want to answer for you if it's worth your money. I think you should read some reviews, uh, read both positive and negative, uh, do a little bit of homework, uh, especially on the uh, any card to any number plot if you're already not familiar with it. I would say this isn't necessarily for beginners, okay? If you're a beginner, uh, both at skill uh, or you're, this is your first time doing an any card to any number, I wouldn't say this is a good DVD for, for a complete novice, both either with skill or you've never done an any card to any number before. Uh, I would say you probably wanna be a borderline intermediate level magician, just, that's just my advice. All right, so who would like this? I think collectors of the any card to any number. Uh, I think skilled Cardesians would like this. Uh, you definitely kind of might need a table for this, uh, so I would, I, would, I would be thinking about that too. Uh, this is an any card to any number that you definitely would require a table where you're counting down and there's gonna be things spread out. All right, so that's my review of The Journey from Matt Johnson and Murphy's Magic. As always, I wanna thank Murphy's Magic for allowing me to have this trick so that I could do the review for you. And if you would like to purchase this trick for yourself, 
You can find it from your favorite Murphy's Magic dealer. Thanks. Bye.